throughout the years that have helped many, many lives as commissioner. All to be spat in the face. In terms of the law, I was doing the right thing, but for the lower class, I was not. Is that what made you join Scarrow? Precisely. So now you're here, and Scarrow's corruption has come to an end. What will you do now? My real name is Philip Troy, though. Bump V is my alias. Philip Troy? No, V. Can I bust Philip Troy? 24 years of prison really changed my life. And I'd like you to join our organization. Join an organization? The Criminal Evasion Protocol for Retired Arrestees. SEPRA for short. You miss your family so bad, why don't you go see them? Why are you still a part of SEPRA? I wish. I wish, man. They broke all of us out just for us to work for them. They have all of our lives in their hands. They can do anything to us at any given moment. Listen, I was in prison for about like 24 years. Just let me continue and get over my sentence. I want to see my family. If you work under us, we can promise you freedom. Fine. Listen, I'll only do it under one condition. As long as I'm called V. Why V? It's short for Voss. My baby brother. Hello. I'm Blake Cross. You and Timmons. Nice to meet you, Mr. Timmons. Thank you, sir. Uh, my colleague V, I'm sure you heard of him. Help me uh, go through these training protocols. Where to begin? I like that attitude. Clean up the uh, recent crime scene, and uh, you know the baggage crew has already gone in, so you should you should be good. Oh shit! Check this out, man. I think crime scene crew forgot it. Look at my fucking men, scare operatives. Do you know about this? But well, why, why would Separate do that? Why would they hire you? Are they, like, are they just trying to create a big diversion? I'm not trying to fucking risk it. Look, we need your help. We need your help to conduct research on Separate. They don't know where to start. I don't know if I can trust you. You're gonna have to. Well, maybe I don't. Maybe I should call the police. Wait. Separate is an organization built of broken out criminals. Well, how did I not know of this? Because it's that well covered up. Well, I don't care about any of this. I care about finding my father. Where is he? Hello, V. Sam, Liam. You're probably wondering how I knew that you would see this. Oh, wait, no, no. You're wondering why William Hydrich is tied up. I'll tell you why. You all have been conducting little investigations on Sepra. If this continues, I will put a bullet in this man's skull. 117, that's the guy we go for. Best chance is that they haven't gone yet. Listen, I believe you're next in line to get murdered by this organization named Sephiroth. Don't worry, that's why we're here. Catch him in the act, we'll take him out. Once you do that, we'll be able to conduct more research, and figure out more. been authorizing these killings. Yeah, that burnt body? That was me. <laughs> I remember the day you first told me you killed Emily. It was back at Scarrow headquarters. Every medical record that I found says she was cut and bruised, but not dead, and that she suffered from a disease called disassociative amnesia. Emily is alive. From that point on, I formed Sephira, an organization dedicated to finding out what happened to her. I would break out criminals, and I would promise them freedom. You think you lost everything? I had nothing to begin with. I grew up in an orphanage, William. We all have done monstrous things, Timmons. <laughs> now we both can say the same. Fuck off me! Did you see that? That's, that's your guy lying right there! Now you know what it's like to lose people! Don't fuck with me! 
the song here. Remember it? No clue, man. I've been in jail for like 20 years. Well, it turns out it's Emily's favorite. So what? Well, people with amnesia, they tend to remember certain melodies, tunes. If you think someone sold a copy of that song to her, who do you think it was? Lewis, I think? Yeah, Maria Lewis. Right um, here. Maria Lewis. Yes. Did that help you at all? It does actually. I think you can track her down now. Maria Lewis, are you there? This is a detective for the NYPD. I'm gonna need your assistance in my investigation. I got money. I found Maria Lewis, or your beloved Emily, on 89 Grand Street in Manhattan. And I know, it was really sudden and heartbreaking for you to have to relive all of that, and I know, but we needed that. We needed to open up your eyes, open your head to what was happening, and it's the reason we called you. Sam, where are you? I'm long gone by now, Dad. V's keeping lookout back at a certain apartment, and I'm all alone. Look, you have to trust me. I know this is all very confusing, but it's all for your mother. I promise. You promise? Really, Dad? Meet me at 3 Smith Drive, Albany, New York. There's a table set outside for you there. Okay, I'll meet you there alone. No. Bring Timmond. While you have a discussion at the table with someone, I will take him back to my car. Timmond doesn't fucking deserve to see the light of day. Be considerate of the person at the table. This person can't speak and suffers from a disease. But they can help you. Don't be a bitch, Dad. Just fucking do it.
funny. I thought that was you. Oh my God. You do not know the hassle that I've been through trying to find you. It is so good to see you. Give me your hand. I, I love you. Honey. Give me your hand. I was afraid of how you would judge me with the financial situation I was in and everything. Come on, just please. What are you writing? Honey, what, what are those note cards for? Honey, come on. What are the... You don't know who I am. Honey, it's, it's me, it's William Heidrich, your, your husband. Be considerate of the person at the table. This person can't speak oh. and suffers from a disease. The amnesia can't be that bad, it can't. It can't. It just... Are you serious? Do you not know who I am? that mic you're wearing? Why do you have that on your shirt? It's a trap. You're working with those fucks. You're working with that commissioner, that broken commissioner that made me this. Where are they? Tell me where they are right now because obviously they're holding you. They have to be holding you. They have to. All right, I have to go. You got it from here? Why are you leaving? I need to reflect. Oh, well, yeah. I'm gonna talk to my father and V. We'll probably get Emily back home and pay her for the job she's done.
Do you have any idea what today is? Today? It's my birthday. March 4th. Come on. Oh, Jesus. Some birthday, huh? No. Not some birthday. Even though I'm your adopted son, you still have to treat me like I'm your son. I'm not just some- I'm just not your friend. I'm your son. Treat me like you care. I didn't say that. But what about the rest of the people in your life? The people who love you? What? What people who love me? My father is gone. My wife is somebody else that she's not. Always about you, isn't it? And look, what? and look, now that you've seen what I, now that you've seen what I've created, this 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 empire known as Sephra, you hate me too. So so who loves me? Who loves me? What about who loves me? You're all I have. Always so selfish. You always think poor Will, poor me, poor me. What about me? Listen, man. If you're really sorry, then you'll help us take down Sephra. Take down Blake Cross. But I can't help you in regards to taking you out of prison. You have to go. You've killed so many people. I can't let that slide on my conscience. No, I understand. I, I deserve to be locked up 100%. I mean, I've just become this horrible monster. <laughs> And I don't, I don't want to be this horrible monster. I just, there's nothing else for me to do. I, I know. I remember it was a solid day and a half that it took for us to finally get the group together, all four of us. Timmond broke into a stranger's property and burned dirty money, fraudulent money. V paid off our beloved Emily for the job she did. And you and I, we reminisced back where it all started. New York City. And I know that it was hard for you devising that plan to Destroy Sepra, the organization you created, I know. But we all made mistakes. Tim and me, the obviously you. And it was because of you that we were all able to make up for it. All of us. And, you know, all four of us, we finally... We finally did something good for once. Slowly, with your hands on your head. Deep some fucking thought on, but you're not. But not. I've been there since the beginning. Philip Troy, you distributed under a drug operation called Cross Industries, my operation. Let me tell you a little tale if you wouldn't mind. At around the time you got arrested, I was unaware of your arrest. As a result, your distribution was not executed on time. Now, I gave you an extra week, to be fair, but I hadn't heard anything. 
So I decided I'd send you a message. A message to tell you that I am not the kind of man to keep waiting. I broke into your house. I held a gun to your father's head. I watched your mother scream and scream as I blew his fucking skull off. Did I stop there? No. I was just getting fucking started. Then your mother next. Boom! I walked into your little brother Vars' room. He was sobbing uncontrollably from the gunshots. The crying grew more faint as I silenced him. Just like that. Three family members dead in the span of ten minutes. Now rethink your thoughts, timid and Phil. I'm gonna fucking kill you. A crybaby little bitch, just like your little brother. Put down your weapons and fight me like a fucking man. Yeah, Scarrow is dead. Put on the mask so that you're the last operative we have to kill. Perfect timing. Me and Sam, we, we just disabled all the security systems. No one, no one will even know we were here. Where's Timmond? Tim, Tim, Timmond is coming, don't worry. Okay. Well, look, come on, we gotta get out of here. Sam's gonna be calling the police any second. No, no, no. You knew. You knew. 
What's up? Did Cross give you a concussion or something? You don't seem okay. Are you all right? Just, just, you knew. You knew. You're, you're talking nonsense. What? Just fucking admit it. Just admit it. You knew. You knew. I knew what? My whole fucking family's dead. My father, my mother, Voss, everyone. Everyone. I'm sure they're still out there, but look, the security systems are down. Everything is fine. It can all be fine. They're fucking dead. They're fucking dead. They're gone. Everyone's gone. The only thing that was pushing me to go forward is gone. Listen, V. Every criminal here is about to be ratted out. You are the only one that is helping us take down this organization. You are the only one that's not gonna get caught. You are the only one that's My not gonna- My fucking family's gone. My whole fucking family's gone. All right, put the gone. fucking gun down. Put the gun down. I won't. They're fuck. They're all dead. They're all dead. I worked under Blake Cross for Cross Industries. And you knew he killed my whole entire family. You knew. I know you knew. Just fucking admit it. Just admit it. I knew. I knew he killed your family. I... I hired him. I, I broke him out. Because he was able to run that drug syndicate for years. Being an anonymous boss. He was good at it. And look, I thought perhaps I could do the same. I, I wanted my wife, okay? But I guess now neither of us can get what we want, huh? Ladies and gentlemen, we have breaking news. Liam Timmond has anonymously sent us a video coming forth about his crimes. Just a warning to our audiences that this is a live broadcast and viewers' discretion is highly advised. My name is Liam Timmond. I would like to formally come out and apologize to the people watching this. My apology probably doesn't mean anything, but it does to me. I'm sorry for leading Scarrow. A protest and a belief gone too far. People died, and all that blood is on my hands. I spent all that time covering shit up as commissioner when I should have come clean. When William Heidrich and his son put me behind bars, I was in the works with a group called SEPRA that would eventually break me out. I created SEPRA, the criminal evasion protocol for retired arrestees. I formed it to kill the remaining scare operatives in hiding. I made it to kill my own men. Each member of SEPRA did their job and we killed over a hundred operatives. That way, I knew they wouldn't spread any further information about me. 
Unfortunately, William Heidrich crossed me during this operation. He could tell something was up. So when he came to investigate a separate facility, I shot him in the chest and I watched him die. I killed William Heidrich. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Tim, you killed rich people. You killed William Heidrich. And you killed your own fucking men. You're a monster. Trust me. I know. That's why I sent this video in. Not just so you guys know the truth. But to end your pain. To end my pain. Well, there you have it. According to this tape, the former commissioner of NYPD and head leader of SCALE was on the verge of committing suicide. While the death of Timmond is not fully confirmed, police are actively searching for his body as we speak. Truly a strange time we are living in. Good night, Manhattan, from all of us here at News 15. Zephyr is gone, thanks to you. And if it weren't for your help getting in, I don't, I don't know where we'd be today. I'm still a detective at NYPD, Dad. I'm gonna carry on the family legacy.